Hey, welcome back to Home Video Hangouts. I'm Cody, and in this video, I wanted to discuss my latest visit to GameStop, where I got to take a look at one of their retro game stores, where they have a selection of retro video games to choose from. And I also wanted to touch on what I've been seeing lately in regards to other types of physical media at GameStop, including movies. So first of all, starting out, I wanted to show uh, on GameStop's website here, their newly updated retro game section, which is much more um, detailed now where there's a lot, lot more games to choose from on here. And it's organized a lot better than it used to be. I know that previously GameStop was taking uh, trade-ins at some stores of retro video games. There was maybe a small selection of retro games available on their website and maybe even like one or two you'd see in the stores here and there. Um, but now they're doing more of a rollout where a lot of their stores are having a more substantial retro video game section in them. And this is interesting because, you know, we've seen GameStop over the years carry lots of different types of video games and consoles and take trade-ins of all kinds of things. They used to even take trade-ins of used movies. And so I think what we're seeing now is GameStop is seeing a decline in modern game physical game purchases due to things like Xbox Game Pass, what PlayStation Plus is doing, and how a lot of games are bought digitally now only, um, or how a lot of people are just doing PC gaming. But at the same time, GameStop knows that there's a lot of people collecting retro video games and that there's this kind of resurgence in physical media, at least in terms of older physical media. And I think they're even seeing somewhat how there's a return to physical media in terms of movies like I talk about here on this channel a lot. And so I want to just go into a little more depth of what this looks like, what we're seeing so far at GameStop, what I saw at one of my local stores. I have actual footage of me going into one of the GameStop retro stores and showing what they had. Um, and then I also want to share with you how you can use this to save money on some of your retro game purchases and maybe even some movie purchases. So let's jump right in. First of all, on the retro gaming section of GameStop's website here, um, one thing that stood out to me is I noticed that they had this. This is a mod retro um, chromatic GameStop exclusive. This is almost like an upgraded version of a Game Boy um, that allows you to play Game Boy, Game Boy Color games on it. And this is a GameStop exclusive version. So the fact that we're seeing this shows that GameStop is taking this retro gaming thing seriously and coming out with a GameStop exclusive console, basically. Not that this console is necessarily exclusive, but this uh, variation of it is. And this is releasing right in the holiday season of this year, you know, December 1st. Um, and then, of course, we see, you know, some popular Game Boy games alongside it here. Um, then if we look at what else they have on the site, you know, they have GameCube games, PS3, N64. Um, they have other handheld games. So there's a variety here for sure. And I would say when it comes to the prices, just looking through their website, prices are hit or miss in terms of whether they're good deals or not. But that's where, again, later in the video, I'm going to go into how you can use GameStop getting back into this space to save some extra money. GameStop does have a lot of opportunities to save money on your game purchases. But um, I just wanted to highlight, first of all, what I saw from going to one of my local GameStop stores and checking out their retro game section in the actual store. Um, so what you're seeing here is, um, this is me checking out the retro game section at the GameStop store in Elk Grove, California. Um, I happened to be near this store and wanted just to check out what they had. And so you can see here, there is some PlayStation games, PS2, PS3, some Xbox 360 games. Um, and then you'll see towards the bottom, there's some Wii U games as well as uh, not pictured specifically in this area, but they did also have some uh, 3DS games in a separate cabinet as well as some handheld consoles. Uh, like I think they have some th a 3DS there if I remember right. And so we're seeing that these stores are having uh, more and more selection of these. And 
a lot of these are more common titles, not anything really rare. Um, but what I have found as well is that in some cases, they won't display everything that they have in their inventory that's been traded in. Sometimes someone will trade in something like an N64 game or a Game Boy game. And they might not have somewhere to display it, so they'll keep it uh, behind the counter in a cabinet. And you just have to ask, like, oh, do you have any other cartridges available? And in some cases, they'll have other ones they could show you. And that could be rare titles that aren't really on display for anyone else shopping in the store. So that presents a unique opportunity if you're a retro video game collector and you want to get some of these more rare older titles, you might be able to do so just by asking what they have behind the counter in terms of recent trade-ins. And not every GameStop store right now is a retro store where they have one of these sections. But even stores that aren't listed as a retro uh, store will still have some of this that gets traded in that they might put on display temporarily before shipping it to another store. And if you go on their website here, you can click on find a retro store and that will help you determine what stores have some of these uh, bigger retro video game selections. Um, so you go in, do a zip code search uh, and then just find one near your location. Um, could be worthwhile if you wanted to um, check out one of those specifically, but really uh, you could even find these at any GameStop store if they've been traded in there. Um, so now moving on, I wanted to uh, kind of cover what I've been seeing in terms of movie physical media at GameStop stores lately. I would say while GameStop is getting back into the movie space to some degree, uh, this is much more limited. It's very rare that I'm seeing a GameStop having an actual movie section in them. There's one store in the, the general Sacramento, California area that I go to that I've seen the movies at continually, and that's the Citrus Heights, California location. And that one has like this, uh, almost looks like a movie theater marquee section in it with cardboard where they have a display shelf of some new movies. You know, they always like to sell the Super Mario Brothers movie and a few other movies. And uh, what I originally saw when they started doing this was them just putting the movies out on the shelf like new video games almost. But now they're putting out just blank cases um, out and then you have to ask me on the counter if you want to actually buy one of them. Um, and they're essentially charging full price for these. But with all of this, the retro video games and the movies, they will have sales on them. I saw this picture where there's a 25% off deal on movies through GameStop, which was cool. And so on that note, I also want to cover how you can save some extra money buying these items through GameStop specifically. So first of all, the first thing I would um, bring to your attention is GameStop's uh, Pro Membership. This has changed a lot over the years. Uh, they've changed the terms, the pricing, what's included with it. But if I click on that section of the GameStop website here, basically this is a yearly membership where it's $25 a year you pay for it. And then uh, they give you basically 12 $5 um, coupons throughout the year, um, starting with a welcome one right when you sign up, and then uh, another one when you renew. And then you get some extra benefits like free shipping on orders of $54 or more here, 10% uh, extra trading credit on things you trade in, 5% off all these things, graded trading cards, digital games, virtual currencies, which is like uh, PlayStation uh, credits or Xbox credits to use digitally. Uh, pre-owned products of all kinds, collectibles, clearance, GameStop brands, and more. So that's a uh, 5% off quite a few things there. And then uh, there's other exclusive discounts. They'll do these pro weeks, which is almost like an Amazon Prime Day type thing. And then it's 2% uh, back in rewards that will accumulate in terms of, like points you can redeem for certificates. And so this is one way you could save money. If you pay $25 for that um, and you buy from GameStop regularly, um, th this will end up saving you money. I've done this for a number of years as I've bought stuff at GameStop regularly and it's usually worthwhile for me. Now, in addition to that, they've recently made changes to the GameStop Pro credit card. And quick note here, I'm not sponsored by GameStop in any way. I don't benefit financially from you doing anything like signing up for a pro membership, getting this credit card or anything. I just want to make you aware of this in case it could save you some money in some way. Um, so in addition, um, you can get 4% back on your GameStop purchases by signing up for a GameStop Pro credit card here. 
And I haven't gotten one of these personally yet, but that's a pretty good rewards rate for a credit card overall. And with that, um, you also get a free year of the pro membership. So you get those addi additional benefits that I already shared with you of the pro membership just by getting approved for this credit card. And then you also get uh, 40 points per uh, dollar spent. That's basically where the 4% comes in. The points don't expire and there's no annual fee. They've definitely improved this credit card over the over the years since it came out. When this first came out, they basically gave you some GameStop points for signing up and that was it. There was no benefit whatsoever beyond that. Um, so they've definitely improved this. It could be a way to save some money. But uh, last thing I want to mention in terms of saving money here is this deal they have going on. They've had this for a while now where if you spend at least $250 at GameStop, either in store or online with in-store pickup, you save $25 automatically. So if you're already planning on buying a console or something, you might as well get some additional items and save some extra money. Or if you plan on buying multiple uh, different retro video games or movies, you could get enough to add up to the $250 and then save an extra 25. If you add that with the benefits of the pro membership, you could definitely save some extra money that way. Also, it's important to keep an eye out for those pro weeks if you have a pro membership because they do offer some great additional discounts then kind of similar to like I say an Amazon Prime Day or like a Black Friday or something like that. Um, so that's the, those are the main things I wanted to cover here, but I highly encourage you to check out your local GameStop store, see what they have as far as retro video games and movies, and let me know in the comments what you found at your local stores. If you found anything cool here, any rare titles or anything, or if you're still shopping at GameStop, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. And then um, also, if you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. I know I don't talk about video games too much on this channel, but they are something I really enjoy. And I'm always trying to find ways to help you get good deals on movies as well. So thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.